long-time sufferers to my vocal tirades <laughs> will know that I almost religiously keep to my schedule of posting a video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and I've been doing so since January of 2016 without fail. But I have to say, tonight is the closest I've ever come to uh, missing my schedule. There are good reasons for this, and I'm going to explain at the end of tonight's video. But let me just tell you this, tonight's one is short and sweet, through necessity, but it's a delightfully, deliciously evil little story for you. One of that I've recorded before, but I decided I just had to go back and um, do a remastered version of it for you all. Well, my dear friends, it's once again time to sit back and relax with your favourite drink, and listen. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Wake up bright in the morning light to do what's right with all your might. Remember, this is just a story. But whatever you do, don't let those bed bugs bite tonight. Now, my dear friends, it's time to sit back and relax in whatever way you wish. And please join me and listen. Hmm. Watching. I have something. I must confess, I've been watching you, <laughs> yes, right this second. Unaware of my proximity, I've been watching you for the past several days. You have such a lovely home, full of space and dark corners. <laughs> I like the dark. All that time, I've been in your home, just watching you. Well, not just watching, but we'll come to that later. I watch you perform your nightly routines before slipping into your bed under your warm blankets. I watch you until you fall asleep. I'm there to see you awaken in the morning to daybreak's new light. I am so still, my stare remains unbroken and undisturbed for hours and hours. You are so beautiful when you sleep. I wish you could see yourself as I see you. Your body is a sensual furnace of heat that radiates endless plumes of vibrant red, orange and yellow flames as you slumber. I bask in your warmth and light. Your rhythmic rising and falling of your chest is the source of a breath that can ignite the very air around you. Announcing to the universe that you are here and you are alive. The beauty of the spectacle can hold me in a trance the entire night until the morning light forces me to retreat to my dark haven. Other nights, I come to you. You don't even feel my touch. Up and down your arms and thighs. I touch you with the utmost care. I would never want to disturb you while you sleep. Your skin is so soft and delicate. So unlike mine. Your body is a landscape of ecstasy, with a new wonder just waiting to be discovered and explored. 
your aroma is intoxicating and invokes an insatiable hunger that I surrender to and gorge upon. I then quietly make my way back to my hiding place. I am hidden well before the first rays of morning peek through the windows. I am so quiet. You never realize I was there. You awake and go about your life as you would any other day, while I sleep, content, but still filled with anticipation for what the following night will hold for us. I see that you have noticed the marks I left behind. Marks on your thighs and arms and throughout your body. I know they hurt and I am truly sorry for that. But things like that are unavoidable when it comes to matters such as these. I am always so careful that my kisses are soft and delicate. I kiss your body ever so lightly and cautiously. I would not dare spill a single drop of your blood. It saddens me that soon I will have to share you with others. However, I know that you will be just as beautiful to them as you are to me. I know their touch will be equally as delicate as my touches have been. I know their kisses will show as much tenderness as mine have always had. My eggs will hatch any day now. The little ones will most likely hide within the mattress and frame of your bed, a trait for which we earned our namesake. I much prefer the nightstand next to your bed. The tiny crevice on its side allows me to look upon your face for as long as I desire. It is from here that I simply gaze and wait for our next encounter. So yes, that's one that some of you might have heard before. A fantastically, deliciously evil little tale, I'm sure you'll agree. You weren't quite sure what was going on, were you? Took you a little while to cotton on? Well, don't feel bad. That is a very weird and wonderful story indeed. And like I said, it's one I've recorded before, but I wasn't quite happy with the way it turned out the first time, so decided to re-record it. And anyway, like I said, um, very busy time in my life. I am upping and moving my family to the Netherlands. And that's where I've been this week, so um, sorry for no replies, no much action going on in the channel, and the shortness of tonight's video, but I am crazy, crazy busy right now. So please forgive me. You'll forgive me, won't you? I am doing my best to uh, keep to the schedule, but everything is just nuts at the moment. But I'm doing my best, and hoping for a better future. Well, Thanks again for all your support through these years, and long may it continue, because I'm not ready to stop just yet. <laughs> That's enough for me for tonight. Back to um, proper full-length videos next week. Until then, you have a good weekend, sweet dreams, and bye-bye.